So this is Kessa. Kessa's bred to Tico. I want to show you my new stud shed. I thought, well, I'll bring Kessa up while I'm doing it. We just, I just finished building this. I'm going to put pens in here and my studs can stay up here at night. I'll put five pens in here. I ended up building this uh, 24 foot by about eight feet wide. It's nine foot six on the ceiling, but about eight feet. And I'll have five pens in here. I got these steel beams, 22 foot steel beams, and I put a 24 foot two by 12 Douglas fir. I ordered them out of Abbotsford and uh, laminated them. You, these, these beams are designed to fit um, these heavy planks on each side if you need the strength. Now I didn't need more strength than just one because the, the steel is pretty heavy itself. But uh, it allows you to span the whole distance with no posts in the middle. And I just, I had a couple of trees that were dead up here. So I just whacked them down and cemented a little uh, base in. There's a steel piece that's stuck in the cement that goes up inside the tree in a flat plate so the tree is actually sitting on steel not on the cement so this thing will stand here for a long time and I'll put uh, I haven't taken the scaffolds down yet I just got the tin on but I'll uh, make a nice uh, pen divider using tin and that way the boys won't be scrapping with each other between each other and I'll just have a gate out this way and then I'll put some runs out here. I got this area fenced anyway, but I'll put some runs so the boys can come out and run up here, and burn around up here. And that way, if uh, the females are in heat, they're not down there bugging each other. Because right now, I got Vana in heat, Carew's in with Vana. Well, as soon as one of the other boys comes out, um, I got to have them in the run pen or a pen that doesn't get close to crew or crew's all upset and they're upset. So uh, that's what's happening with this stud pen way up here. Now, Kessa, this is going to be her first litter. Kessa's the sister to Nessa. Nessa's got a litter in the garage right now. And uh, this is a Silver Nova and Carew daughter. So this is the first litter out of a Karoo daughter that we're about to have. And this is an absolutely stunning female, beautiful female, big female, powerhouse dog, um, just absolute dream dog, really. So she's bred to Tico, which is Mon's brother, uh, Dakota and Tecla's son. And in about, I don't know, maybe 15 days, Tico will be six. Tico was born six years ago on the night of the supermoon. Remember that? Tecla had ten pups that time. Now, this is an extremely high-end dog, this dog, because this is the very best of the North American genetics. And this is bred, of course, to the old world genetics from Finland, Karoo. The first time this genetics been in Canada was with Karoo. That's the first time that genetic left there. So to have this female now bringing forth some pups is pretty profound for us. Her, her sister, Nessa, is a Jaeger and Silver Nova daughter. And Nessa was then bred to Kuru to get the same, almost the same genetic combination in the pup. We're just doing it a different direction here. This is a Kessa, or a Nova and Kuru daughter bred to Tico. Tico and Jaeger are both sons of Dakota. And so uh, the genetic combination of the pup out of here or the pup out of Ness is almost identical. And then uh, we have we have the twin to this dog here as well. We have uh, Kaliba. And 
Solvig is the other female out of this litter. She's down in uh, California, there around that San Francisco area, I believe it is. And uh, she's just a stunning female too, very stunning. Um, but uh, Kaliva will be bred to most likely Mon, which gives us the exact same combination as Tico, because Mon and Tico are full sibling brothers. Now, Kessa is a little bigger than Kaliva and bigger than Solvig. And Kessa is, uh, uh, in terms of overall size in my program, it's a... Uh, She's one of the bigger females I have. I haven't weighed her, but she she's a big, stout girl, tough as nails too. Now, Kess is a, a very personable, it, 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 it's surprising coming out of Nova and, and Karoo. They're both ultra personable as well. And Kess is, you know, just this calm, easy going. Karoo and Nova have a, you know, a little tendency to have a little more energy, like they're they're, they're higher, they're geared higher, whereas Kessa just calmed right down. Like it's a beautiful dog to hike with, beautiful dog to work with, uh, nice dog to be around. So we'll have some incredible pups out of this litter. And uh, I, I can't tell you that there's uh, um, a litter I'm more excited about than this one because it's the, it's the crew uh, offspring now that are having the litters, which, you know, that was a big dream to bring that bloodline in. Now, years ago, when I brought Silver Nova in, we were so excited. Uh, Lillian Gamble uh, raised Silver Nova down in uh, the U.S., and we brought Silver Nova in to specifically preserve these old hunting lines. And so to have this female now stepping into play as well, pretty profound. Now, little Vanna, she, well, she ain't little either. Uh, she's down there right now with Karoo. She's get, she's bred. Uh, they're just hanging out now, but she's bred. So she's about a month behind Cassa, something like that, maybe three weeks behind. And so we'll have that litter too. Now, Rita was another uh, Karoo and Kai daughter. And... I believe she might cycle, so I put her in with Leaf. So Pretty Boy Leaf is in there, and I'm kind of hoping that we get a get a hook up there. I haven't seen no action yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But Rita is a beautiful daughter, uh, half sister to Kessa, and she's going to be bred to Pretty Boy Leaf. Now I I can obviously breed Pretty Boy Leaf to this female as well if I want. But uh, these are uh, these are profound dogs because Karoo, of course, he comes from all the best hunting champions in Finland, just extreme hunt dogs. And Silver Nova is out of the very highest quality uh, North American dogs there is. Like uh, her uh, her mom is the champion Silver Princess, and her dad, of course, is. Uh, one of the top ranked, highest ranked uh, dogs on North, in North America of all time. Uh, very, very good uh, genetics. Now, uh, Silver Nova herself, phenomenal dog. Kess uh, is a better dog in, in instinctive ability, in, in handler focus, in hike, in remote terrain, all that. Uh, this is a better dog. This is a better overall uh, instinctive skilled dog. Although Silver Nova is extremely good, it's just uh, she has so much show blood that the work instinct is a little bit dull. Whereas Kess is, of course, out of crew, so it's right on the surface. Now, breeding this dog to Tico is, you know, one of the most profound matchups you can get because you get all of that Norway blood of, of Tekla and Bram, and you get that old world blood out of Dakota. So phenomenal pups coming out of here. Some of the most uh, profound pups on the planet. And very, very ancient, very old dogs. The pups out of here, the pups that are coming will be uh, uh, out of the line of the oldest known uh, genetics there is left. So it's uh, uh, 
very, very good dogs. Now, I'm a preservation breeder, so that means a great deal to me to keep these old bloodlines alive. And the goal uh, as a preservation breeder was to bring in some really, really good uh, replacements to create this. And this is a flawless female. She has no flaws. There's no known flaws in this genetic in either side. That's the advantage of a preservation breeder is we don't use uh, lines that have genetics and we're very careful with our lines. And so that's why we use back and forth. We can use Carew, we can use Tico one way and we can turn around and use Tico and Carew the opposite way and we can go quite a few years and use the same genetic. And by stretching out the male like Tico, this will be his first litter and he's six years old. So uh, you can see how it, we can extend the genetics. Lots of guys are already retiring males at six and he's just starting. His dad, of course, was still working at 12. So Tico will work for another four or five years yet, five, six years. And uh, it extends the genetic out quite a bit. Now, Kessel will just be over two, but totally fine. So yeah, I wanted to show you my shed. I got that up. I got to put the pens inside now. I'm really happy with it. It turned out great. And uh, it'll be an awesome shed. It'll be really, really good for the boys up here. I wouldn't want to be a stray cat or a stray dog coming up here in heat cycles around with them boys. But uh, it'll be a good, good spot for them to sleep. But uh, they, they won't, when I lock them up at night, of course, they'll more or less be in their pen to sleep. But uh, when I have their run pens open in the day, I'll just put long, narrow run pens out here. And they can, I'll have two out the back and three out the front. And that way they got tons of space and go all through the bush here, have a fun time. But uh, I won't run the center pen at the same time. I'll run this pen and that pen, and then the males can't touch, and I can separate the two back pens with a space. So that way the males are never together. Although all mine are good together, but when there's heat cycles, not a good idea. Well, Kessa, what do you think, girl? Job. Good girl. She wants to go hunting, there's no doubt about it. Good girl. Good girl. So, if you guys are looking for a good pup, I'm probably, uh, I'm, I'm taking names now. I've got people on the list, but uh, John and Denise are getting the first female out of here. And then uh, I've got a couple others uh, waiting on some pups out of this litter, too. But you can still get a hold of them. It's still time. So, I'm excited. Well, Kessa, good job. That's a pretty good video, girl. Come with me. Come by me here. Come here, girl. What? Yeah, I'll just tell you a little more about that building. I'm pretty happy about that thing. So you can see that uh, steel beam there. And behind it, of course, um, it has a bend in the top, that beam. And it allowed me to... Uh, Put that 12 inch 24 foot fur right into the beam and then I lag screwed it every two feet double all the way down. I put one on top, one on the bottom. And it makes for a phenomenal uh, structure with uh, only four posts. And it really uh, is a very strong structure. And this beam that I have, I have uh, uh, it's set up so that you can put another plank on this side if you were really worried about heavy load like if you were building a two-story or something like that you can put a plank on this side and lag bolt it right through as well so you can have you would you would only use a 10 inch on this side and that way um, it because this side is a little shorter but still you'd have a, a 12 inch a 10 inch steel and a 10 inch plank it heavy amount of load bearing and so with 10 of course I'm just dealing with snow load, so I can just walk up here with a snow rake, and if it gets, I, of course I get three, four feet, but I can just pull that off with no problems. But it was nice for me to build this alone because I can lift the steel beam up myself, like one end at a time, of course, and then I can lift that 24-inch plank up one end at a time, and I fasten them together up top. 
so it allowed me to uh, build this whole thing myself. I had quite a bit of a time lifting these uh, posts because I had to pick them up straight up and set them directly onto the steel piece that I had cemented down, but um, it worked out. I mean, it was a fairly good lift, but it turned out all right. And then I just cross braced it, piece of cake. I ran a little, uh, little hurricane tie to tie that roof onto there, and we got her made. But uh, this will be a pretty cool uh, spot for these guys to run. And uh, they will have a nice area up here. So it should turn out pretty good. My land keeps going that way for quite some time. And uh, we can just, we go out this gate and we go hiking. We can hike right on out, um, right out the black gate there. And we can just cruise straight on up. But it uh, works out pretty good. Come up, Nessa. I'll show you one last time. Come around. Oh, I see you going that way. Okay. Oh, oh, just come up. Oh, oh, just come up. Cool. 